to Corinthian. Are you like that one guy on IG who's like, balling is the only way to get out the hood? Balling? <laughs> and he just dribbles like on highways. Oh, but, yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, it's just me and Pops today. But we got squats today. Have another. This is going to be my hardest week ever. Hardest. Like, this is it's difficult. But I actually feel pretty good. I don't, I don't feel, like, beat up. I did a good job taking care of recovery and food over the weekend. So I'm feeling good. At the minimum, maybe another thousand. Hit that number 10, baby. Um, but if I'm feeling like really, really good warming up, I think I'm gonna take maybe like a, a low to mid 900s last warm up. And then maybe we'll load on like the ninth red or something. Hit like a little baby PR. How much is that in kilos? Uh, at least 470 plus. 470 plus potentially. I know a lot of you guys like to ask like, oh, what are the spotters gonna do? Blah, 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 blah. But I'll tell you what, man. When you guys got a, a guy, like I got Pops, it doesn't matter what you put on the bar. You're going to be good. I remember distinctly last Monday when I was getting ready into the hole, I heard Pablo say, I got you, bro. That's all I needed. That's all I needed to know, like do or die. And as soon as they hit the hole, 110%. I don't know how to do the cross, or the heart, bro. <laughs> it's like we're throwing up gang so, signs. PR or not, man, I know that whatever I load on the bar, Pop's got my back. And it's like, it's not like I'm just getting completely folded. I just need like an extra 5% to help me get upright. The proper way when you bomb a squat, don't just let, don't let it go, bro. Yeah, don't like let it go. Like some people do. But anyways, guys, we're going to finish taking our pre, um, it's a little later in the day, so body's warmed up. So we're just going to put the sleeves on, start jamming. And start recording it with like four reds. Yeah. Or do you want to go one red, three red, and then five reds? Yeah, we do that too. Bro. Okay. There's strong guy problems. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does make my day when you guys support the videos or like the videos because you know we're making an impact on you guys. And for whatever reason, if whoever doesn't like uh, us sharing our beliefs and our faith in god like i don't know what to tell you bro i mean if you like us for if you like us primarily for what we do that's all to you man but we glorify something bigger right so yeah man hope you guys like today have your squats see you guys in choo -choo 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 -choo.
but man just to talk about my my squat PR so for those of you that have been keeping up with the videos like I've been very restrictive to just squatting like it's been so uncomfortable you know it's not been going my way um just been struggling with it and I don't know man the only thing I can get the give as the reason why that today was just a good day and that's just God man like like there's nothing else there's no way I could explain it it's just I did one red three red five reds right so that's three warm-ups and then straight to 817 straight to 905 right so it's not your typical way to do things but it's just I don't know I was just locked in today like something in my mind I wasn't hyped I was just focused I give glory to God for that we're 95 pounds away from a thousand guys and if you guys are gonna like for those of you that are watching today and the day and when the day comes when I hit a thousand like this is a special video because you guys were able to see my progress and even the guys that have been here since um, I hit the first time I hit 800 right like you guys have been just beginning watching us grow and get stronger and that's that's amazing man like I there's there's no amount of thank you and gratitude I have for, for you guys just to support us so if you've made it this far to the video, man, I appreciate you guys. Make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 10K. Uh, I know I said I was on the road to 10K before the year ends, but oh, who knows? You know, it's it's not looking like it, but you never know. So subscribe. But all right, guys, you guys already heard Pops, man. Today, I'm going to give today Coach Corner, Coach Mega, Coach Jesus. Today is just one of those days where it was not a bad session by any means. Like any day you get to come in and do at least like 88 to 90% of your max and have like your technique feel good, um, have a decent top set. Like you take the wins where you can, but it's just like where, where I'm at at this point of prep, I'm like, like fudge, man. Like, I want every single session to be as perfect as possible. And it's just when you have little nuances, little things here and there that just like take away mentally, it just becomes more of a mental battle than is a physical one. And it's like a good example. Well, we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I will. For PR reasons. <laughs> but besides that guys, like it's like, man, like you just want everything to go your freaking way because it's like, I'm seven weeks out, man. I got six squad sessions left. And we're freaking busting tail out here, man. But at the same time, I'm not mad. I I hit the RPE. I did what was asked of me. But at the same time, I know, like, okay, let's look at Saturday, Sunday. Like, what was my calorie intake? What was I doing? Like, what did I eat enough uh, the day before coming into the session, right? Questions like that, like how much sleep did I get? What was the quality of sleep? You just gotta check the boxes, guys. Um, but besides that, guys, man, like Pablo hit a PR, finally broke into the 900s. And for those of you guys, if you guys couldn't hear me talk when I was hyping them up, it's like something that I used to tell myself when I was squatting in the eights, trying to break into the nines, and then from the nines into the thousands is, think of it like a level. You're leveling up to break that, that barrier. You essentially have to master your current capacity. You have to be able to optimize where you're at efficiently, like achieve mastery, right? Before you can even attempt like the next boss level. And like Pablo literally did that. He jumped from 597 to 817. That's probably the biggest jump you've ever taken in your life. But, but yeah, that's, that's a huge jump. Like, I don't think I, that's about the same biggest jump I've ever done. It's like two reds per side, right? So 100 kilos. Everyone else would be bullying in their pants. Yeah, everyone, they would have been like, no, 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 no. Like, I'd rather you, you know what I'm saying? So what Pablo did there essentially is he overcame the mental obstacle. He was physically, he's been physically at that point but it was his mind catching up to his body. And when you have your mind, your body, and your spirit, and your heart in conjunction, like that is when you break the plateau. That is when you start to enter uncharted territory. And that's exactly what Pablo did today. 
The last time Pablo hit anything at this weight level was 400 kilos, and that was... May, it was in May. It was in May, so about seven months ago. Pablo hasn't hit anywhere near close to his weight in seven months, right? He's had a nagging injury. Yeah, that's little, actually pretty crazy. So. Little things here and there are just kind of holding him back. But what's one thing Pablo did? Me and Pablo butted heads a lot over the last few months. But what did this man do? He, he stayed chipping at it. He stayed chipping at it, even if it was just a little bit here and there. Here and there. He kept chipping and chipping and chipping. And what happened? Two weeks before your 24th birthday, he broke for 900 pounds. Oh, yeah, that's 905 on the bar, guys. Oh. 900 and freaking five pounds. Like, I this, guess I, I guess I can't take it easy till I turn 24. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, and this isn't like unnecessary glazing. Like, this is appropriate in my opinion. Like, this is what it's all about, guys. Like, yeah, like when you're in a position to win and you're it's your time whatever like you, you take advantage of it but realistically guys like long term that's exactly what we're doing like that's what we're giving the glory to god about it's the ability to come in and just better ourselves in one way or another like I promise you guys like it's not just about the weight room it's about how you're treating your mom your brothers your girlfriend your wife your kids like if you're finding yourself just being a little ill-tempered like short patience like Take a minute, relax, talk to God, let him carry your burden, and just try again. It's not over until the clock hits zero. All right, guys, you guys stay to this part, man. Like, I can't thank you guys enough. Like, you guys have just been doing phenomenal.